heart disease kills one woman every minute in this country. In fact, more women die from heart disease each year than all types of cancer combined. One reason is because coronary artery disease, one of the most common types of heart disease, is harder to diagnose in women than men. And radiation risk of current testing options has now become a big concern, yet there are other options. Here to help spread the word about this important women's health issue is registered nurse Beth Badalino, the CEO of the nonprofit organization Healthy Woman. Hello, Beth. Hi, Stacy. It's, it's great to talk with you today. Thanks for having me. Sure. Um, can you please tell us about women and heart disease? Well, women and heart disease, yes, I certainly can. It's the number, heart disease is the number one killer of women. Um, it, is, it kills more women than all cancers combined. So that's why we're here today to launch the Spread the Word um, campaign to educate women about heart disease and more importantly, the signs and symptoms of coronary artery disease and give them the tools to um, have that conversation with their healthcare provider and share it with their family and loved ones. Well, what are the symptoms of coronary artery disease in women, and how are they different from the symptoms in men? Well, the symptoms present differently in women than men. For instance, um, women may have upper tightness in their back, tightness in their jaw. Um, they may have an unexplained like stomach ache, um, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. And if you think about those symptoms that I just um, listed out, you can really kind of um, make an excuse, right? Fatigue uh, and weakness, you can just say, well, I haven't been sleeping well, that's why I'm, I'm tired. Or upset stomach, you could say, you know what, I may have eaten something last night that didn't agree with me, that's why I've, you know, I'm not feeling well and I'm experiencing some nausea, nausea and vomiting. Um, upper back pain um, or tenderness, maybe I lifted something wrong. And we kind of, we, we kind of put those in the back of our mind and we never have that conversation with our healthcare provider. So we present differently than men. We tend not to have that conversation with our healthcare provider and, and then end up dying of coronary artery disease. You know, those symptoms are easily explainable, especially with women's busy lives and raising kids and work. I can, can, right. can completely see that, um, especially the stomach aches, back aches, those, those are kind of and being tired. Well, what, how are those different from the symptoms of men? What, what, what are men commonly concerned You know, men usually with? have that, that they have the agina, um, agina and then they have the tightness in their chest. So you automatically go to heart attack, right? Or something wrong with their cardiovascular sy sy um, symptoms. Um, so it is, it, it presents completely different in men than, than women. And it's really important for us to understand what options are available, test options that are available. And there is a, uh, it's called the Cora CAD test um, that can help physicians rule out obstructive coronary artery disease. So it's a simple blood draw that can be done right in the uh, physician's office that can um, provide the information to the healthcare provider on whether or not you certainly may have obstructive coronary artery disease. It's a, it's a, new, it's a test that can be done. Again, it's easy. Um, and there's a lot of different options, so it's really important to understand what options are available and to have that conversation. And to make it easier for everyone, we've created a great website called gospreadtheword.com that has great information and resources on heart disease um, that you can use for yourself and then share with family and friends, share that information. So it's, that's where hence spread the word comes in. Okay, so you're saying that really if a woman can go to the doctor, get a simple blood test, and this will help rule out any, any coronary artery disease? It can help rule out obstructive coronary artery, artery disease and really then help the physician kind of pinpoint what the next steps are. So it's a, it's a, you know, a test that's- It does sound easy. Yeah, exactly. And we all, we're all about easy, right? <laughs> right. No, that, that does sound easy, and you're right. Those symptoms are nothing like we usually see in the movies where there, you know, a man's grabbing his chest and, and suddenly crippling to the ground. That's exactly right. Um, so what else can you tell us about the Spread the Word campaign, and you know, how is this going to help women recognize the symptoms of heart disease? You know, we really want to educate and empower women about the importance of your heart health. We've done a great job with breast cancer. Um, we, we're doing a great job with cervical cancer, and if you notice, they're both cancers. <laughs> and mm -hmm. we really need to start doing the same thing with heart health. So we're trying to educate and empower women to have the conversation about their heart health, 
to have that on the list of um, the list that you bring into your healthcare provider's office every year, and to really understand the signs and symptoms and then share that information with family and friends and loved ones um, because it is important to um, understand and, and realize that heart disease is the number one killer of women and we need to be more serious about our heart health. So GoSpreadTheWord.com would be a wonderful resource for women to check out. Exactly. GoSpreadTheWord.com and HealthyWomen.org for more information on health and wellness. So HealthyWoman.org and GoSpreadTheWord.com would be great resources for my readers and myself um, to check out to find out more information. Well, Beth, thank you for helping spread the word, and hopefully this important information will reach many more um, women. I know that my readers and myself really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.